Do everything within your power to make your plan A your reality. Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is Jan. I am a fourth year medical student studying here in London. Make sure you subscribe to this channel to share with me in my experience through medical school, as well as other lifestyle and advice videos and vlogs. Now, a couple of days ago on my Instagram story, I put up a poll and I asked you guys to send me in questions that you had about medical school and getting into medical school. I often do get questions from people here and there, but I wanted somewhere I could direct people or just a resource for you to use if you're out there, if you're interested or aspiring to become a doctor or to get into medical school. I am making this video for you to give you some tips tips and tricks based on my experience, based on what I know. Of course, there are other resources out there that you could use, but I really hope that this video is gonna be helpful, at least to even like one person out there. Applying to med school is no small thing. I remember it very vividly. I have applied to med school a few times, but I will get into that in the questions. So the last Q&A I did was in 2018. It's been a while, but I forgot how fun these videos are because when I put question polls up on my Insta story, you guys always reply in numbers and I love you guys for that. Thank you so much for everyone who sent in a question. Some of you sent in general med school questions which weren't specific to sort of applying and getting into med school. So I've decided I'm gonna do a part two to this video where I answer those kind of questions because they were still really valid and really good questions. But just for the sake of keeping this video concise, size and focused on med school applications for those of you who are specifically interested in that that's what this video will be focusing on and i would hate for you to miss out on part two where i will be addressing other questions that i did actually receive from you guys so make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification in addition do follow me on Instagram so that when I do future Q&As, you can also contribute and help shape the content that we put out on this channel. Without further ado, we are going to get into the questions now. So the first question is, what advice would you give to current students wanting to apply for medicine? What I would say is absolutely go for it. But before you do, I would say it's not a decision to take lightly because personally, I believe that medicine is not just like a career choice, a career path or an occupation, but it's like a calling within itself. And that's the weight that I have put on it in my life so in applying i think it is very important first of all to establish whether you really believe that this is the purpose for your life because first of all the process of getting into medical school is not going to be easy at all there are so many hurdles that you have to go through i'm particularly talking about applying to medicine in the uk from your personal statement um to getting good references to sitting the ucat and the bmat you see those exams there yeah we're gonna talk about those in a bit the interviews and then from getting the grades which is hard enough to do at a level with the application you will face challenges here and there i had to apply to med school a few times before i did actually finally get in so before you put yourself through all that be sure that this is for you and this is actually what you really want to do but once you've gotten to that stage then i would say absolutely go for it the final thing i would say as well don't be disheartened by rejections i've been rejected so many times i learned that lesson the hard way um but here i am so if you know it's for you and you persist upon it you will succeed next question oh this was an interesting one shout out Ruth. so what advice would you give to a teenager who is sitting on the fence about doing medicine similar to my last answer the whole application process of getting into medicine and also med school in itself and also what comes after med school it's a very demanding career so before you throw yourself into that make sure you're sure of it if you have even a remote interest in something else make sure you do explore that go to open days or look at universities if you're in sixth form um 
for other courses as well keep your options open i remember i was sort of interested in psychology and interested in pharmacy and also interested in radiography as well and i kept my options open i, I made sure that i looked up all the requirements for those courses um career paths in those courses as well attended those open days to make sure that i was making the right decision another thing is that with ucas you can normally get five options on any normal course but with medicine you can only choose four med schools then your fifth option is open to choose um anything else but it would have to be with the same personal statement so what i would say is that do not dismiss your other interests explore them to be sure that medicine is exactly what you want to do and uh, once you come to that point being a teenager it's never too early in fact this is one of the best times to start doing things to boost your application to get into med school as well um, whether that be through getting work experience relevant in the field volunteering where you can but i'm going to get into that later in the video where somebody actually asked about the specifics of a successful application to med school question number three from ramona i'm in year 11 do they look at GCSE grades when accepting people? If so, what grades do I need to get? Do they look at GCSE grades? The answer to that is yes and no. Um, at your stage, if you would be applying straight as a school leaver, yes, they would look at your GCSE grades. But for somebody who would be applying, for example, who's already done a university degree, they wouldn't look at your GCSE grades from what I believe they would look at your university degree but Ramona in year 11 yes you do need to get good GCSE grades girl each med school is different in their entry requirements with grades and whatnot but most med schools when back when I first applied were looking for at least eight GCSEs between the grades of A star to B which I think now that the school system has changed would be between a level nine and what's it be a six <laughs> I think a B is a six you would know better than me Ramona but it's never too early even in year 11 type in on google um, medical school entry requirements if you know what particular medical schools you want to go to for example University of Nottingham University of Oxford Cambridge it's good to um, look around at the different medical schools and see what their entry requirements are in fact the earlier you look the better because at least you know what you're aiming for looks it for you there sis so the next question um, is from my little cousin Chanel and she asks what a levels do you need for med school well the main ones you're gonna need um, are the sciences biology and chemistry when i applied those were the mandatory a levels that most medical schools needed you um, to have completed and when you get to med school it actually makes sense because there's a lot of human um, physiology and biochemistry that's covered in the course that is very relevant to the degree um, so biology and chemistry um, are the ones you want to focus on some medical schools also do require you to have studied maths um, and maybe physics as well some of them do look for triple sciences but as I said in the previous question each medical school does have its own requirements there's a very good resource that shows you all the list of all the medical schools in the UK and you can go through them one by one maybe create your own um, Excel spreadsheet and fill in the requirements that would be really good for you to start setting these entry requirements as your own personal targets i want to get into med school these are the grades that they look for so these are the minimum grades that i need to get so any asked when is the best time to start applying so this is really dependent upon which stage of life you're at essentially if you're a school leaver and you're gonna apply straight from doing your a levels um or from college then you may want to start your application in year 12 or your first year of sixth formal college at the very beginning of year 13 or your second year of a levels that is when uh, medical school ucas applications close so you need to have started um the application process in itself essentially towards the end of year 12. some people take a gap year after a levels and use that year to get experience in the in the field and to apply as well if similar to I was, so you're studying and in 
an undergraduate degree and you know that straight after your degree you'd like to go into medicine or med school um, then I'd say within the summer of the second year of your degree into your final year if it's a three-year course is when you want to um, start the application process is when you want to be sitting the aptitude tests getting your personal statement patterned um, and ready to submit by October in your final year so that you can attend interviews throughout your final year um, and have the place ready to go by the time you graduate. But if you did want to focus on your degree until finally and then take a year out after and then focus that year on applying, um, then I wouldn't say that's a bad option because it's I know it's quite common. I know a lot of people that did do that and were very successful. However, there is no age limit. Here at med school, I study with literally people who are married with two, three children, people who have done two, three degrees before coming to med school. I think the oldest person who I've seen on the course so far is in his 50s. So I can't really advise that there's a best time to apply. Like if it's for you, you will follow through with it and you will succeed. So next I'm gonna answer two questions in one that were really similar about the application process. Um, so. The first one was anything to do with the application process got a nephew applying for medicine any tips what can one be doing now to make a successful application for med school personally coming from me as jan i would say often these medical schools receive thousands and thousands of applications for a couple of hundred places so the competition is very high so what is going to make your application successful against the next person's is standing out from the crowd and your individuality you need to shine through how can you do that getting as much experience as you can doing things just in the medical field i know it's very hard to get experience in the medical field but even if you can just get one like maybe in a hospital or in a gp surgery or something i mean in the middle of a pandemic right now i know that is very hard other things i did to boost my application um were so volunteering in a nursing home and also volunteering in a charity shop as well i did those two things over the period of six forms so i volunteered there for two years what that shows the medical school is dedication to a cause like showing up somewhere consistently for a long period of time um and that stands out because you are gonna have to show up every single day for med school for a long period of time five six years and always come through you know so that is a very important character characteristic trait that they are looking for i got my first um work experience in a hospital at 16 after i had done my gcse's um so if you are at that point i would say now is a good time to start thinking about that getting work experience in the medical field in general is extremely hard like i wrote letters on end to gp surgeries random consultants that i found online like, i even used to sit down and handwrite these letters and deliver them in person the most important thing is connections in this field um, so the only place that i had any connections and i was able to get experience was in uganda which actually worked out in my favor and it's one of the things that made me stand out against the people i was applying with because nobody else in the room could come and say that they had shadowed doctors and done four weeks worth of work experience in a hospital in east africa uganda so play the connections that you have in whatever part of the world it may be to your advantage again i understand that this is COVID time but look online and see there may be some online courses that you can attend taster courses into medicine just something that is going to widen the scope of your knowledge into what it's like um, being a doctor somebody asked how can you stand out in your medicine interviews girl that's a very good question it's important to know the style of interview that you will be attending so here in the uk the last time i checked there were three different styles of interviews so there's the normal panel interview where you sit down like you're in the hot seat and it's like 
four or five people like <laughs> firing questions at you uh, of course it's meant to be conversational but can be quite daunting um there's the mmi so multi multiple mini interviews which is like different stations around the room where you spend a few minutes in each station with a different interviewer asking you different types of questions which is um the interview i sat for the medical school that i'm at at the moment and i think some medical schools do a sort of mix between the two so part panel part mmi um, so it's important when you're looking at the medical school you're applying to to know their interview style as well and to prepare accordingly now to actually stand out um, in interview i think it's very similar to any type of interview like any kind of job that you would go for you want to focus on transferable skills that you possess um, but ones that are very specific and that you can mold and use your experiences to essentially show these people who are interviewing you why the fact that you possess this skill and the way that you've been able to show it would mean that you will be a good doctor examples of good skills that are important to being a good doctor are communication skills you have to know how to communicate well with patients with your colleagues and other healthcare professionals that you work with so any way in which you can show that you have good communication skills and then use that to explain how that's going to make you a good doctor is working in your favor um, aside from communication skills there's teamwork there's leadership skills there there's problem solving the ability to being able to you know work under pressure for long hours there's so many um, skills that are very very in fact crucial and essential to mention in your interview and once you hit the nail on the head and you're able to really show them that you possess these skills and the fact that you have these skills is why they need to choose you above everybody else and why you are going to make an amazing doctor but the main thing really is being prepared so um just kind of figuring out every single question that they could ask you and having an answer ready for every possibility in fact where you should start your interview preparation from is answering the question why do you want to study medicine you need to get an answer figured out for that question before you start preparing to answer any other question why because that is just such a classic interview question and no matter what med school interview you go to chances are so high that they will ask you that question you need to be prepared and have a pretty good individualized and authentic answer for that one so then i also got asked what sort of extra curriculars should you do and in the same ballpark as well any advice regarding what else aside from academic that you did to help your application um so i feel like i kind of did cover that so getting experience so putting yourself in a position of leadership for example personally i at my church was a youth leader so i was able to talk about that and in my undergraduate degree um, i took on positions of leadership i was president of the afro-caribbean society as well as directing um, one of the university's biggest musicals as well i contested for um, a beauty pageant prior to my med school application and i won the title of miss uganda uk so i used that experience in my medical school application to be able to draw transferable skills from that i was able to spin and show them how this is going to make me a good doctor so i talked about how when i went on my charity trip i showed it required me to show a lot of compassion as well as um, enhancing my communication skills working and interacting with people who had different daily challenges from myself i actually did i feel like i did a lot like i feel like i did the most i feel like not getting in um straight after my a levels allowed me to do so much and to build my extracurricular portfolio so much to the point that is like hello <laughs> it was very hard for them to ignore all of these things that i had amassed by the time i came to applying again that in itself is a really good tip for you guys and actually the majority of the people that i study with and that i've had conversations with who are on this course with me did not actually get into medical school first time so if you do get rejected the first time don't be disheartened it's more than okay to take it in and then look into the reasons why you weren't successful on this attempt pull your socks up 
and then it's so important to maximize that time before you apply again in order to add to yourself as an applicant to make it way harder for them to reject you the next time so martha hey martha asked how to get a good grade on ucat slash bmat so for those of you who aren't familiar these are the aptitude tests um, that you have to do different medical schools have different cutoffs for these aptitude tests and if you don't meet the cutoff then unfortunately these um, aptitude tests are where i personally tripped up when i was applying at the time when i was doing my a levels it was one of the reasons um i was rejected from all four of the medical schools um, that i applied to very heartbreaking at the time um, but with hindsight, um, I can sit here and say that it was probably for the better. Um, so like I said earlier, don't be disheartened by rejections. What is meant to be will be if you keep putting in the work. How long did it take for you to try and get into med school? I want to be a pediatrician. First of all, girl, I want to be a pediatrician too. We got this. We can do this. And how long did it take me? Well... <laughs> it was two failed attempts if you want to see the full i'm not going to go into the full story of me getting into med school i've done a video on that before so make sure you check here to get my full story of everything that i went through <laughs> my first attempt was in 2015 and i finally got in in 2018. okay next question from martha again can you get in with a biomedical science course from anywhere when you're applying to medical school i don't think they specify which kind of a degree they are even looking for i don't think it really matters where you got your degree from either um, i think as long as it's a recognized establishment within the uk if you're applying through ucas and the main thing is that you have achieved the grade requirements in most places which i believe is a 2-1 so having a biomedical science degree be that from anywhere does actually put you at an advantage not to say that if you do have a degree that's not medicine related that you can't get into med school there are plenty of people who do and get on just fine tiana asked advice for a biomed applicant trying to get into medicine love you by the way oh girl i love you too thank you for supporting my videos and what i do girl yes i have advice for biomed students because not long ago i was a biomedical science student myself so biomed students all of you out there you are very dear to my heart because i do remember what it was like um being your shoes and just thinking back to that time i remember there were so many times where i just wanted to quit especially like in first year i think when i realized that this degree is actually hard and it's not what i want to do like am i wasting my time here it's so competitive to get into med school should i just do something else like so many thoughts were running through my mind but then i had to give myself a reality check and just be like listen girl quitters don't win and i'm a person who is always like forward thinking so i'm always thinking in the future i'm hardly ever in the present so i thought to myself i don't want to be in a position in the future where i'm regretting not having put my all in and not having known whether i could have made it or not just because i decided i wanted to quit and give up you know so i decided to pull my socks up and actually put my all into it so that would be my advice to any biomed student out there put your all into it get those good grades do not be disheartened by the competition do not be disheartened keep doing what you need to do get those grades because that's the first thing they're going to look at and keep building yourself and adding to yourself in ways that are going to make you stand out one thing i will always reply to as well is a biomed in my dms asking me for advice on getting into med school because i've been there um and i can truly empathize so don't be afraid to dm me so the last but never the least question from any would you suggest doing a placement year for a biomed student planning to go to med school 
so the placement year that i think you're talking about here is a year within the biomedical scientific field we were offered that at my uni as well and i remember being really hung up on it when i was um, in second year and i was thinking maybe if i do this it will add to my cv um and it will make me stand a better chance um even getting into med school and all these things and i remember taking these ideas and thoughts to my personal tutor and she was like to me jan what do you want to do with your life biomedical science or medicine i was like medicine just like okay to spend a whole extra year of your life doing biomedical science if you want to do medicine focus on medicine med school is already long enough without you having to add that extra year in the biomedical science field when that's not even what you want to go into in effect her words implied you're not a waste of time if that's not what you want to do and I took her advice and it worked out really well. I thought it would work well as a plan B, but she was like, no darling, do everything within your power to make your plan A your reality. And that is the message I'm gonna leave with you guys today. I genuinely wish you all the best with your med school applications. Please do comment down below if you found this video helpful and share it with anyone else who you do think it could help. And watch out for part two of this Q&A where I will be answering your questions on all things med school.